I am Mark Jones. I have worked here for three weeks nearly now. Um, I am local, so I've lived in and around Derby um, pretty much all my life. Um, I have a wife who works at the hospital, uh, two young children who take up most of my time when I'm not working. Uh, and then any spare time I get other than that, I like to just sort of unload, go into the gym. Um, or as it is at the moment, just reading all the hr -y stuff, and, and, you know, that are on the networks and whatnot. I'm quite a big social networker. It, it was just a fascination with people. Um, I went into a role where, when I was about 20 years old, I was being assessed for an MBQ and thought, actually, I want to be on the other side of the counter um, doing the job. Um, and working with people. I, I was, think I was one of the youngest people, in the, or was the youngest person in the entire company. And quickly after that, um, after having an internal trainer, got a first for that and sort of thought, well, that's, that's the way I wanted to go. And I can, I've realised that I can affect a group of people rather than just one in one in an interaction um, through some quite you know, broad sweeping changes and, and make the, the, you know, the workplace a, a better place to work. Yeah, I've known about Pennine pretty much, I'd say most of my life from being at school. So um, when I was in, probably about 14 years old, I was in a technology class. Um, we worked for a technology, uh, sorry, went to school at a technology college. And um, there was a project to design a paperweight and it was for a local company, local company being Pennine Healthcare. So I actually remember um, processing this aluminium billet paperweight, which I still haven't found yet. Um, and then putting the, the logo on. There was about 200 of these paperweights that we all did, um, and I haven't seen any of them. So it's, you know, I have to speak to Liz about that. Um, but it's, it's something that I do want back. I am eager, because I am here for it. Um, but yeah, that's how I've known. And then they've, they've just, the company's resonated with me through that. It's always stuck in my head, and they were prominent in the press. Um, a few years ago, there was always something going on that Penn and were involved in. In terms of HR, you can go in two different directions. You can go for the, what I would say is boring and stuffy, policy-driven, uh, finger-wagging style of HR, or you can go for the really positive, engaged, um, integrated, um, and uh, you know, I suppose it's a disruptive style of HR, which really turns the whole HR system on its head and is doing something for the good of the employees. And this, this role came up. And the attraction was that it said people in the title, which is a big thing for me. I'm not driven by titles generally, um, but if it's a choice of being a HR business partner or um, a people partner, I, I would go for the people one every time because that tells me that the role is concentrating on something different. I, I didn't know at first until I came and met Graham um, and discussed the role and it's very clear that we're on a journey here. Um, we are trying to um, achieve something really positive for the people that work here. Personally to me, and I, I probably didn't appreciate that until I first worked through the doors, but I actually feel like I owe something to the company because the people are local. Um, so I live around them, They're in, we're in each other's spaces. Um, and it's culture, it, it, it's so indescribable about what it is, but it is the makeup of everyone's collective efforts. Um, and for me, it's about putting a number of different initiatives in place that really drive that and improve it. Um, because it's obvious we've got great retention stats. People work here, they, 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 you know, they've worked here for a long time, they feel secure, but I want people to come through the doors and want to work here. And I want people when they walk out the doors at night to want to come back rather than it just being something that puts money in the table. And that for me, that's where I'm the important mechanism on that. Real tangible ones put mental health on the map. We need to do something about mental health. Um, and that started yesterday um, with a quick and simple comms. Uh, but there's, there's got to be more to be done on that. We need mental health first aiders in the workplace. Um, we need to be bang banging the drum constantly on that and just completely remove the stig stigmatism from it and make people feel comfortable with what's going on. Um, leadership development is huge. People need to be getting the best out of their managers and the managers need to be getting the best out of themselves. Um, and that, fortunately for me, is, is 
where I've just done so much development um, throughout my career. So that's that should be a quick and easy. Um, so that's they're the major two things really that I'm focused on at the moment. Aside from that, it's a whole employee journey. So I want the point of um, I suppose recognition with Pennine to be the point where someone applies and they see the ad and go, I, I want that job. I've got to work there. And if they're coming in from agency, they're thinking, God, I, I really hope I keep this job.